ask you a lot of questions on personality disorders. Personality, I'm on page 938. She will bring the outsiders. Calm down. Basically, why do people uh, why do people act a certain way today, like five minutes, and then the next five minutes turn to somebody else, right? Personality disorder. So let's talk about it. They call personality disorders cluster B disorder. In Clex, don't put personality disorder, no. They put cluster B disorders. So I need you guys to understand that. So I am on page 939, right? Cluster B disorder. The first one is called histronic personality disorder. I'm on page 939, and I'm on the top. Histronic. Histronic personality disorder, right? This is, this person is dramatic. Now, I'm not gonna characterize people, but I'm gonna give you an example. But I don't want you to say, um, all people who are gay do that. That's not what I'm saying, but I'm giving you an example. In the gay community, you have like people that are very professional gay. I don't want to tell my business, I go to work, I do what I'm supposed to do. Then you have others who are very drama. Like they walk in the room and you can tell. Now, a lot of people, characterize that as histrionic, but it does not associate with all gay people are histrionic. You have people who is not gay that are histrionic, very dramatic. Everything, <laughs> oh my God, right? Very dramatic, yes. Oh, you're in class? Okay, well let me try to help you with the answer. Right, that was her first question on her in class. Histrionic people, personality disorder, these people are very dramatic. They're very live, they're the life of the party. Right? You know this person gonna come in like a two star. She's like the life of the party, right? Now, has poor, shallow interpersonal relations, maybe sexually seductive or provocative. Yes, yes, and it has a lot to do with, for example, if they was molested, right? Or if something bad happened to them, they kind of like, well, I don't, I'm nobody, so anybody can have it. You understand? They're very sexual people, okay? Know that. They're very sexual, has, um, Overly concerned with appearance. I gotta look a certain way. I gotta look very, very, like appearance is very important to them. And then they easily bored. Now, here's the nursing intervention. How do you deal with a histrionic person? You never say, Rose, what you're doing is wrong. I need you to fix it. Because in her eyes, She's not doing anything wrong. So the way you do deal with her, you role play it. You know what role play means? You show roles. This is how you treat coward. You, you show her that's the only way. She will see what she's doing is wrong. Because in her eyes, she don't feel she's doing nothing wrong. Any question? Hysteronic. Personality disorders, Olesa. Okay? Then we go to narcissistic. Everybody got a narcissistic friend. And let me tell you what a narcissistic friend is. I say, I graduate, a lot of Haitian people have this. I know, for example. You'll say, oh, so society, not like you, so society, wherever you, 
Wherever you come from, she came from higher. Wherever you went to school, she came higher. Narcissistic can never have one friend. Today she your friend, tomorrow she your friend. She cannot study with one person. You ever had a person that study with everybody and every time you come down, the problem is within them. Like if there's an argument, that person will always be in the middle. <laughs> Even if y'all two arguing, something she don't say, that's what you guys are arguing for. That is a narcissistic person. Ready? Need admiring. Oh, you look so pretty. Why you need every day somebody got to say you look good? You don't need that, right? Over what? Overestimation of abilities, lack of empathy. Yes, they never feel sorry for nobody. They never feel sorry for, well, I know I can do it, so if I can do it, you can do it too. Not people go through things, right? So, so you know, you're not a nurse today, but tomorrow you'll become a nurse. That's not what the narcissistic patient person will say. Well, if I can do it, you can do it. I don't feel sorry for nobody. Yeah. Whatever. Mm. Why do you drink? You see? Yeah, I have my own problem. Narcissistic. <laughs> Any question? <laughs> right? Y'all know a friend? Yeah. I know some people in here. I did with people in here a long time. Who is 76? Somebody play with my AC. I know I had on 74. <laughs> I'm going to make it cold. Give them, put your hands up. Give it for me. Thank you, baby. If I sit for put your hands up, and give it for me. Okay? Any question? Then we go to antisocial. Ma'am, what was your inflex question about hysteronic? Scenario. Did they role play? That's the answer. And that is my mama, my papa, too. Okay? Okay, then we go into antisocial. The antisocial personality disorder does not mean you a person that cannot talk to people in front of the class. A lot of students get that wrong. Antisocial mean if I say to you, go walk on the left side, you're going to walk on the right side because I told you to. Guys, antisocial, a lot of beautiful, good-looking men. they good-looking. They normally attract to women that are low self-esteem. they real hot. And they find a little mama that pay all their bills, right? Antisocial normally rape. They rape. Right? Antisocial men are always beautiful, good looking, like Scott Peterson. Okay? Married and then killed a wife. Right? Had a second life. Okay? Antisocial. The only reason you'll go get help is because the court forced you. You will never go get help because you don't think something is wrong. Antisocial is not you afraid to come here and talk. That's not what that antisocial. Antisocial is a person that does not follow no rules. And it all started when you was little. You remember when you were two years old, mommy said, don't do that, right? And you did it. And if she didn't spank you, now you 18. You bigger than mommy. Mommy cannot spank you anymore, right? So consistency, right? Antisocial, prison. Normally, court ordered them to go get help. Rapists, abusers, predators. They the one beat the woman. They beat women because they have a very low self-esteem. But they the one that woman love. Beautiful men. And you'll say, I can't leave him. Any question with antisocial? Inclex call these what 
personality disorder. Cluster B. Cluster B. The last cluster B, I need you to know, it's called borderline. Borderline are very manipulative. They might see. You ever seen a person that lie? Ooh, Thank you. Borderline personality disorder is very manipulative. They try to make the nurses fight with each other. For example, they'll go, well, Sonia, when she worked, she let me smoke. Right? And then you're going to feel bad. This is what you say. Well, when Sonia here, she run her shift the way she want. When I'm here, I run my shift. All I'm doing is try to help you, help you, and try to keep you what? Safe. Right? Don't let them try to go over you. Very manipulative. Lie about everything. So let's talk about borderline. Unclear identity. Unstable. Extreme shifts in mood. One day he's very, very nice. One day, boy, he's a monster. Right? Easily angered, easily bored. Very argumentative. Do bother. You ever had somebody? Always a reason. I, guys, I deal with it a lot, a lot with the students. They fail a test. Oh, the test was hard. Okay, the test was some RN stuff. <laughs> like, they always making excuses. That is your borderline, right? Self-destructive, something they do, they are cutters. They don't want to cut. They the one that may commit suicide, okay? Now, what's the nursing intervention for borderline schizophrenic, I mean, for borderline personality disorders? Right? Consistent. Mannerly of fact. What does that mean? Straight to the point. No gushing, gushing. See, you got to be careful. If you open the room and talk all, oh my, you look beautiful today with a side patient, you're opening the door for them to disrespect you. Right? No, that's not what you say. Oh, I see a big change today. Because if you say he look good, it's okay for him to say, oh, you look good too. So how do we fix that? My, I see a change today. Somebody decided to shave this morning. Somebody decided to wear makeup today. That's it. Keep it straight to the point. No gushy conversation. Right? Any question? We cool? So cluster B, here's the ones that fall under them. Hysteronic, narcissistic, antisocial, borderline. What is the, did you see Christina? Ladies, did you guys sign in? Sign in next door. What is the nursing intervention for hysteronic? Role play. He's our role play. Show him what he's doing. Give him an example. Don't tell him because he don't what? See it. Narcissistic. What is the nursing intervention for narcissistic? <laughs> Can you change me? I came from Polipe. Oh, I'm so How can you change that? How can you change that? You can, but what can you do? Tell me about your life. Ah. Tell me. You know, let me tell you about them. They're really broken inside. You know why they're like that? Because they're hurting. They don't have no friends. Right? Any question? Narcissistic. Antisocial. How can you fix antisocial? You can. Jail. Please don't. Antisocial love, hardcore punishment. That's the only one that's going to fix them. They the one that rape and spit. They don't. Who are you? Who are you? Mark, come home at 10 o'clock. He's going to come at 1 o'clock just to show you he can. It has nothing to do with you. Okay? 
Women can be like this too, but you find this mostly in men. Okay? Borderline. Set limits. Very manipulative. Right? Don't get caught up with that he say, she say with that. Any question? So right when Inclex put cluster B, your eyes open. It can either be borderline, narcissistic, any question? No more? Then we going to go into, yes. Narcissistic, yes, narcissistic. Talk to them, find out what is the root of their problem, okay? Now, then we go to cluster C. Cluster C. Cluster C. Ha <laughs> ha. There is one that you must know that fall under cluster C. And it is called OCD. Where did I teach you OCD? Inside. Inside. OCD also what we call cluster C. Cluster C, personality disorder, anxious, fearful type of personality disorders, obsessive compulsive personality disorder, okay? Overly conscious, inflexible, and preoccupied with details, extreme devotion to work, merely st stubborn, bordering behavior, engaged in rituals. A OCD patient, a OCD patient, guys, make no mistake. They, they make no mistake, but if I find a silly, it does it sound. Like they're very, oh, God, I got to do this. I got to do it. And, and I say, if you stop them and say, what is it that you got to do? May I help you? Oh, I don't know. Oh, uh, yeah, but it's just the rule. I got to do it. I got to do it. Well, what is it? I'm here to help you. Nobody can help them. They have so much going on in their mind. Why? Because they're anxious about something. So what's the nursing intervention for OCD patients? Monitor them. Monitor them. Mm -mm. I'm doing Let them relieve the what? The anxiety. I'm doing the ritual, washing my hands. Let them do it while they do it. But if they didn't start it, what are you going to do? Distract them. Hey, come on, come with me. And they love me. I said, you, you keep them busy. But if she started, I stop her. Guess what? She's going to hit me or she can become violent because she did not relieve her what? Anxiety. Any question? Go to Inclex, know in cluster B, know in cluster C. You'll pop out who your hysteronic, some they'll give hysteronic, some they'll give a borderline, but they use those words. Yes. is for them to relieve the stress. So yes, it depends on the question. Some questions will tell you, wake them up early so they can do the ritual. So it depends on what the question asks. Okay? Prep you. Boy, prep you. If you come to my review, you need to get to prep you. Lipinka, Pearson. This world thing that they have out there, when you finish, if a friend bought it and you want to use it, use it. But I'm telling you, prep you. You'll be fine. Don't go through 50 million questions. Prep you, Pearson, Lip and Cock, right? And that's it. And the mama papas, and you say, oh, buddy. Nothing more. You don't have to do nothing more. 
Yes. Yes, you can speak to prep you. It doesn't matter. Yes. It sure no feels like my teaching. That's how you pass. It's real good. Prep you perfect. But the thing is, you cannot share with me, Sonia. Of course. That's right. You don't supposed to share it. There's some money you got to spend. And prep you is one. Pay. You'll be fine. Okay? All right. Now, let's look into our Alzheimer's. Right? Any question with borderline, cluster B? We go? We good. Just read what I gave you. Keep it simple. Yes. Evolve is good. Let me explain to you about evolve. Because Nova, that's what we use. Evolve is good once you know your content. Yes, evolve is good. If you know your content. Like when you finish reading everything at the end. You evolve. Give me a test. Take it. I did evolve. Okay? But if you don't know your content and you're doing questions all over the world because Kawal told you go do questions, say, Kun, you're gonna win. Don't do questions all over the world. Read your stuff and then go do questions. Guarantee license. This week, nine students, everybody went past. I have not one person failed this week. <coughs> two, yeah, there's some people who ain't got 265. They passed 205, 75, 85. <coughs> Hawaii, Florida, Ibuyo Bay, Florida, Sidenza. Kill left Florida on the floor, baby. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Lipping Cop Pearson is good. As you read, you do question. But you need to buy prep you. Tell your mama she'll buy. <laughs> she passed using your mom had prep you. Yeah, she got it. <laughs> Tell them the son say give it to you. Okay, let's go. Chronic organic brain syndrome. That is what Inclex put for Alzheimer's. Paper. We in this paper. We in this paper. And then we're going to go in the book for Alzheimer's drug. You're going to do Alzheimer's right here. Right in this little paper. All right? Yeah, get one. Right here, you going to, you see where it says chronic organic brain syndrome? That's the word they put. So the student like, what's that? What's that? They put that. Another English that they put. If you need a paper, you just walked in, give up on that. Diana. Louis body. Louis. God did we? They put that. God did. You didn't know that was Alzheimer's. Louis body. Okay? Louis body is another name. Okay. Now. Here's the thing. Students get confused. Alzheimer is the disease. Alzheimer patients have dementia. See, the students think the disease is the dementia. No, it's not. The disease is Alzheimer's, and Alzheimer's have dementia. Now, if I'm an alcohol person, right, and I'm going to withdraw, I have dementia. So that means dementia is a sign of symptoms of what? Something. Any question? When you have Alzheimer's, you go through stages. You go through stages. And this is where NCLEX get the students. You don't die of AIDS. You don't die of breast cancer. You don't die of Alzheimer's. You die of complication of Alzheimer's. 
complication of AIDS, complication of breast cancer. One of the complications of breast cancer is respiratory failure. So your last stage of breast cancer, you see the patient no longer can breathe and the patient can no longer walk, right? So they eventually die from that. Alzheimer's, at the end, you stop walking. So if you stop walking and you sit down, what sets in? Pneumonia, ulcers. That is why they die. Remember our President Reagan? At the end, he put, you forget simple stuff, like lifting your leg, you don't know how to do that. So they're what, bedridden, and they'll eventually die of the heart. Okay? So, A, what is Alzheimer's? Irreversible brain damage. Miss Sonia, what does that mean? Students say, oh, what about that med medication we give you? What about that demand, right? What about that Aricept? What about that x -Salon? The reason we give you those, instead of you going bad in five years, we'll give you a good 10 years. But there's no cure for it, right? No cure. Now, when you first diagnose with Alzheimer's, there is something that you do, and that is called confabulation. Miss Sonia, what is that? You, I'm telling you a story because I cannot remember the end of the story. I'm trying to lie to fill in the blank. Confabulation, right? I thought that one guy that's running for president last night did a lot of that. He couldn't answer those questions. He should not be no president. He can't remember. The man asked him a simple question. He was like, what, what? <laughs> oh, bro, no, right? I think he's too old, right? Confabulation. I noticed, you guys didn't notice that? I caught that all quick, right? And that is what um, Alzheimer's patients do early. They do confabulation. That means, I'm telling you a story. Because I'm not changing. Then he put story up with Monty Lagan. Not like my big Monty with seven, with six, four. Any question? Confabulation. Confabulation is making up lies to fill in the blank because I don't remember the facts. But it's the early slide. Early, yes. Now, all right, you see makeup stores to fill in the gaps. Motor impairment, disintegrating personality, disintegrating behavior. Yes, they fight. Yes, they turn into a different person, right? Short-term memory imp impairment and month for months to years. Let me explain something to you. When you have Alzheimer's, early, I remember where I graduated. First of all, I remember what I do for a living. I remember my children. I remember my spouse. I remember all long term. I just don't remember today. So, what do you do for the patient, right? You bring a what? Calendar? You bring a newspaper. Again, early sign of Alzheimer's. You don't need to put the picture of the wife because he knows who's the wife. He knows it's his children. He knows where he went to school. It's late sign you bring those. Any question? Early sign. He don't have short term. Today, who's the president? He don't know. So he need clocks. He best went calendar. He need newspaper. You need to turn the TV on to keep him updated. Mr. Lee, today is October 13th. You keep saying that. All right? Any question? Oh, October 14th. We cool? All right. Type of organic brain disease, right? Now, the Corsicoff, they have the one I key Corsicoff, right? Corsicoff syndrome, you remember we did what last week? Alcohol. Right? It's associated with what? Alcoholism due to the thymine. Right? Now, let's go. Continue. 
Long and short-term memory impairment, so they still talking about Alzheimer's. They have confabulation, polyneuritis, that's late sign, flat affect, late sign, ataxia, difficulty walking, late sign, confusion, learning impaired. Now, Alzheimer's, guys, normally start now 45. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Each year, when you have 50 people, yeah, 50. My friend, mom had it like 52. Early, yeah. It progressive and chronic, decreased cognitive. Anytime I say cognitive, I'm talking about brain. All right, brain, like schizophrenia, it's a cognitive disease. Okay? All right. They behavior changes. They lived up to about 15 years, yes, right? Now, here it is, first phase. Now, they go in collect. In collect, my door phase you. What happened, what phase? First phase, they call it the forget. The first thing, when you have Alzheimer's, the patient forgets stuff. Ready? The patient will be anxious, recent memory impaired. What does recent mean? <laughs> Today's stuff. This is where they kill the student. They actually, the patient is diagnosed with Alzheimer's. Um, what should the wife bring? Student, now make a picture of the wife, picture of the family. Honey, for you to get that, they have to tell you where, at what stage he's in. Make the room look like home. Late sign. You get it? All right. Now, then we go into shorten retention of information. Then we go to the second phase, which is called the confusion phase. So at the beginning, they forget. True? Then they confuse. Orientation disturbance. So Inclex asks you, which stage the patient get lost? In the confusion phase. Did they went to Publix and don't know how to get back? Like my grandmother, she's like 92 and she looked really good and she can't go to Haiti. The America blocked her. And she goes, I don't know why they blocked me. I don't know. Made bun T I fell I E T. I'm like, lady, if you go on the stick somewhere, who gonna go find you? She says she's safe in Haiti. Right? But they stop her from going to Haiti. Because she 90 something. You don't need to be traveling. Who gonna find you? Right? So she don't like that. Concentration decreases. You forget words. Now, let me explain something to you. Here, they forget words. Early, you, they call, especially grandchildren. So, yeah, Tawan. So, yeah, like this is Tawan, right? But call you Sunya. They call Tawan Sunya at the beginning. At the beginning. But this phase, the confusion phase, they totally forget words. But early on, they mix up the grandbabies. But they know their money, though. <laughs> you short, they, and they say they put, see, they put stuff places, and they don't remember where they put them. And they accuse people of stealing, too. And you didn't steal. It's just they don't know where they put it. Right? Deny, and then deny that they have a problem. So Inclex asks you, where are they violent? They're not violent in confusion. They're in denial, but they're not violent. Where are they violent in the dimension? They have what we call um, sundowners. That's why you do not give them pain medication. You give an outside patient Indian, oh my God, you just kill them. You give them Xanax to sleep or Benadryl. You gotta watch the strong medication. They disorientation, anxiety, denial. They delusion, hallucination. Sometimes they give them how dog because they put their food. Very hard patient to care for. 
People abuse them. Who abused them? The loved one. The reason the loved one abused them, especially the spouse, you can't do it no more. You tired. So back. Yes, who will something. Because it's too much for you. And that's why you got to drop them somewhere for eight hours for you to take a break and then go up to you. I can buy them. They don't want to get abused by love. Right? So if you want to abuse them, imagine what the nurse going to do. Kill them dead. All right? Agitation and physical. Here, they forget how to walk. They forget how to eat. You see how they can die? Because they're not eating, they stop eating. It was less late side. Yes. That is where they don't know the wife, the kids, nobody. So now you will bring the pictures. You're going to make the room look like home. And it's sad. It's, you remember me? No? You remember daddy? It's so devastating. Right? But at the beginning, they remember their families. Any question? So dementia plays they are forgetting the family, right? No. No? Yes, they yeah. forget loved ones. They forget past. Any question? Turn. Nursing intervention. Okay? Nursing intervention. A, let me ask you a question. Which phase you will give me um, smooth softening? Which phase? Dementia. Why? Because they're not what? Moving. All right, they're not moving. Guys, these are the questions NCLEX asks you, right? A lot of water. Now, at the beginning, allow as much independence as possible. Hey, don't come do everything for me at the beginning. They can do some things, but just give them time. You know they slow, right? So give them time. Treat medical symptoms, which happen which stage? Third, nutrition, finger food. Boy, 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 boy. Don't go break big D Lee. Don't come big turkey. Meals, they need finger food, so give me finger food, hot dog, and burger, chicken tenders, none of that carrot stuff. How about baby food? Huh? Baby food. Mm, at the end, at the end, they will give them baby food. At the end, because in the at the beginning, that's disrespectful. At the end, big lawyer, and you giving me baby food. At the end. You're going to give them baby food. And they don't. They give them yogurt, tobacco, and bell, and they make the trick very pretty. Yes? Finger food, not at, not at the last stage. Let me explain some. Because in the last stage, they also lost gag reflex. Okay. The last stage, you see, they give them yogurt. Baby food. Yeah. yeah. I don't want to say baby food. At the beginning, you're going to give them. Um, finger food at the beginning. Okay? Now, limit fluids at night. Why? Because you know they get up. Hey, they they get up. You put them in the sleep, you find them all the way on John Road. So you got to make sure you lock the door and cut the fluid. But they need a lot of fluid because they can get constipated. Right? So you want to give them fluid, but not at night time. You need to watch it. Right? Stool softeners. We range of motion, walk, keep awake, and do fun things with them, you know. Do their hair, take them, do fun things. A lot of people, when their um, parents get old and they're going through this, they just kind of push them in a hole. It's not good. There's place for that. Monitor safety. Eliminate multiple stimuli. Not a lot of stuff. Oh, I, I got to go put a phone in. I got to go do this. No, 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 no. <clears throat> Simple task. Dim lights, all right. Simple tasks, okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. Where where are you? Okay, nursing diagnosis is impaired um, impaired knowledge. 
Okay. Remember, nursing diagnosis, you cannot make a medical diagnosis and say Alzheimer's, right? Make short, simple conversation, speak slowly, no Facebook, no texting, break tasks in small steps, provide consistent care, routine. And they'll try to give them the same nurse, right? Now, point them to person, place, and time. Yes. Yes, because remember, at the beginning, they forget. They forget today. You'll say, today, Friday. Oh, Friday. What today is again? <laughs> Friday. It's like you say the same thing over and over. Got to have patience with them. All right, then, now, part two. I, sh 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 sh. no, be quiet. I asked Miss Carey to put this on here because a lot of students had problem with voluntary and involuntary. Let's talk about that. I, this is the hospital, we in this room, and I came in, okay, I'm seeking for help. That means I voluntarily came into the hospital. True? Yes. If I want to voluntarily go home, you cannot stop me. All right? So voluntary person who admit themselves, you must give consent for all treatment from that person. Right? You must give consent. Can refuse treatment, including medication, right? Unless they are a danger to self or others. Any question? Hold on. And they can also choose to go home whenever they want. Tell you, go F yourself. Get me out of here. They want to go. Don't go. Why you want to go home? Okay, sir. Sign here. Good one. Any question for voluntary? We are voluntary. I'm going to get to involuntary. Hold on. Hold on. Let me get her. She got a burning question. Yes, please. Don't go to involuntary. Okay. Absolutely, that's why I'm going to go to the involuntary next. All right, yes. So it's only what voluntary they have within 72 hours? No, no, no. Voluntary means I walk in and I can walk out. That's whenever I want. Okay, hold on. I'm going to get to the y'all. Hold on. Now, I came in voluntary. Something happened, and I said, I'm going to cut her up. I came in voluntarily, remember, but all of a sudden I became violent. The doctor, because now I lost my rights, right? The doctor cannot hold me. He has to go to court. Each psych ward has a judge. And the purpose of this judge is to view cases like this. Sonia came in at noon, and at 2 o'clock, Sonia want to act out. The judge will now sign me to be involuntary. So for 72 hours, I lost my rights. Meaning, I cannot go home. I came in voluntarily. But I started acting out. I cannot go home. You will give me my medication if I say no. You will give it to me very ethically. You will wait till I fall asleep. Call security. You don't care then. You're borrowing. <laughs> you not go and give to me. No, you do it very, come on, with respect. Because I lost my rights for 72 hours. We cool? If I came in voluntarily, 12 o'clock, just high blood pressure. But 2 o'clock, I took a night. Oh, <laughs> now that becomes involuntary. But the doctor cannot hold me like that. He has to go seek an injudgment to keep me 
right, in the facility, and all my rights get taken for 72, 72 hours. If my rights get taken for 73 hours, guess what? That's lawsuit. Jayco will close this facility down. 72 hours. Now, what can happen to me when my rights taken away? You can forcefully give me my medication with respect. I cannot go home. Now here it is. Any invasive procedure like ECT, you better call my family, although I'm involuntarily. Any invasive, you better call my family. Just because I'm involuntary, you can't get your knife and go to cut and cut whenever you want. You got to, so did y'all hear that? Okay, if you do not get the family member, the judge again will make that this make that. Not doctor. Not students always say doctor. Not doctor. You must get a judge. Now, when the police find you in the street. Like you here, you take a knife. I'm going to kill you. Right? I'm going to kill you. All I say, I'm, well, let me reverse that. I don't have a knife. I'm going to kill you. The police cannot make her at me because I sin. I'm crazy anyways. That's what crazy people do all day, all night. I'm going to kill you. If I take the back, I'm going to kill you. That is when you baker at me. Police doesn't, are not the only one that can baker at. A social worker and family member. <laughs> Any question? Baker at me, you will throw pay. Trying to harm yourself or others. Not threaten. Students always confuse threaten. Guys, crazy people. I had a crazy sister. She threatened me all day, all night. You can, we can't make her act for that. You call Henderson Clinic. Uh, Ma'am, Sonia, call us back. Sonia, you call Sonia. We, see, it's when she starts hitting and fighting, that's when she gets baked her act. Not action. And on my mama, papa, the students always put action, not action. The I mean, not threat. Action, excuse me. Putting hands on someone. Any question? We cool? All right. And let me tell you something. On my mama, papa, students always get confused with these questions, the side question. How come she's Hitting, oh, oh, and you say, Kawan, please don't do that. She's hitting. So when she's hitting, you need to give her what? How dog? She, a, a, a guy with many. You took a sheet and covered. Why would you do that? He's still under the sheet. You remove. Him, take them to the room. Guys, these are the questions the students do bad on. Common sense. Guys, if he's masturbating under the sheet, he's masturbating where people eating. Well, if you cover it, you won't see it. Yes, you are seeing it. Send him to his room. Let him masturbate all night, all day. Right? If she's fighting, don't say, please, can you not do that? Please, can you not do that? Hell, she gonna beat the hell out. You need to give her how dog. LPN, you do not initiate restraint. LPN, you do not. Now, some of you LPN will say, I do. No, you don't. Let me tell you how it's done in your facility. The patient acting out, you gotta call the DON, which is the RN, who called it, right? Who called it? Call the doctor, right? And then you go put it on. But you don't go initiate it. LPN don't initiate a restraint. Any question? That's on my mama, papa. You guys have to understand these questions. 
Any question? Okay, let's go to medication for Alzheimer's. <coughs> Excuse me. Nine what? Sixteen. It's gone, man. Um, they are real. Nine eighty four Alzheimer's medication box sixty six twelve. Right? Just three drugs you need to know. They're the main three drugs.